Music Joy, my friend. It was a late summer evening. The chilling wind blew as fall was approaching. My brother Steve and I were returning home after a day at the cinema. I enjoyed spending time with him. He always watched out for me, even though he was 16, three years older than me. When we got home, he seemed depressed. He refused to eat dinner and called it a night. The next morning, I was awoken by my mother's screams. Startled, I rushed to my brother's room, only to find the horror of him hanging by the ceiling, dead as could be. I fell to my knees in shock as sirens wailed in the background. I was heartbroken, and I started to cry, but then I felt my heart turn black. Whoever did this, he's going to pay! I found out the guy who was in debt with me was named Bradley Maine, my brother's bully, or in my eyes, killer. So I went to go kill him with knife in hand, like a boss, when my mother stopped me. She asked me where I was headed. To kill. She looked at me terrified and took me to a mental clinic. They brainwashed me to think that insanity was wrong. They drugged me and made me the way society wanted me to be, and I believed them at first. Months later, they let me go home. I was outside in a nearby forest and ran into a girl sitting on a large rock, singing and drawing. She turned around and saw me with sweet with her dull green eyes and lovely smile. She looked about my age with dark chocolate hair, red paint splattered headphones, music note necklace and beautiful voice. Hi, I'm Joy, Music Joy, she chirped. Hi, I'm a uh, mock, I said shyly. She smiled. Aren't you the kid who committed suicide's brother? Yes, I answered sadly. Don't listen to them. Just because you're broken doesn't mean they should change you, she replied. What? Well, think about it, she smiled. I saw what she was drawing. It was filled with gore. All of a sudden, her eyes grew red. Her laughter and smile were creepy and evil. Realized that the paint on her headphones was blood. My world spun as I ran home. I looked back, and she was gone. The next morning I was home alone. I heard a tapping on my window. It was the same girl from yesterday, only her hair was crazy. Her eyes were blood red, and she had a huge kitchen knife. I was shocked, and I ran away, but somehow she got in. She had a crazed, bloodthirsty look in her eyes, which were now even gorier shade of red. She tackled me and threatened me with a knife. She grinned ear to ear with pointy, non-human teeth. No! Please! I'm your friend, Music! I begged. She suddenly put her arms down and let go at the knife. She frowned, and her eyes returned to their normal dull green. She just stood. Friend? She pondered. I quickly picked up her knife and pointed it at her. She smiled and took it from me. She headed out of the door and left. Just because you're my friend, expect to hear from me soon, she said. Days later, I felt someone draw me to the woods where I met music. To my surprise, I saw Bradley Maine, the guy who killed my brother, all tied up with duct tape. On a nearby tree, I saw a note that read, A gift from a friend. Then I saw that it all made sense. Music's words, the doctor's lies, everything. I knew exactly what to do. I raced back home and grabbed a knife and a rope. I untied him and hung him from a tree. I grabbed knife and slit him open. All his organs fell out. I was quite happy with my work. I laughed an evil laugh the same way as music. I understood how she felt now. Looks like you didn't know how much you owed me, but it's okay now that I made you pay, I yelled. I ran off and disappeared into the woods.
never to be seen again.